What's up, Tammy Addicts? Welcome back to the TTO2 Speed Car Project. We haven't ran this for a while. The reason being, we are taking part in the Poor Boys RC Challenge. So we're currently using the MF01X car in that challenge. And there it is, sat there, uh, sort of deconstructed a little bit at the moment. Reason being is because the transceiver receiver stuff we use that sits in here has come out of the TTO2. Um, so we've took that out to put it into the TTO2. The wheels, we've took the foam wheels from this and we've been using it on this. So we've took them off and put it back onto the TTO2 because we wanted to give the TTO2 a run today. We haven't done it for a while because obviously we've been concentrating on this and our time windows are running out. The weather is beginning to change and life is just getting in the way of stuff. So when I am available to do some runs, um, you know, one, you've got to have the weather, two, you've got to have the time to do it because other stuff's going on. So today we're a bit late going out to do some runs because of things that were happening in life. And uh, the seafront, my preferred location to run this car, uh, was already starting to get busy. So we did go down there first, do a recce, but there was too many people around. And last time out, we hit 34 miles an hour. And this time round, we have, uh, this is the upgraded version of the car. So the last run was done on the old chassis with all the old sort of components in. And we did a big upgrade. You might have seen that video where we put some carbon fiber parts in. We've got a hard deck chassis. We've got a top deck going in as well. And we hadn't actually run it. So we put the phones back on. We put the radio gear back in and we've installed a... 12 turn thrust motor that we wanted to try out so we we're hoping to beat 34 miles an hour so we went down to chichester university car park where we've been doing some runs uh with this vehicle over here that's the body for it if you haven't seen that already and uh this car has been hitting speeds of well started off at 14 miles an hour then jumped up to um in its last video i think we we're on 22 miles an hour with it there are some mid more videos where it's gone up in speed as well but we are releasing them week by week, so I won't give away what speed it's running at the moment. But we had the thrust motor in this car, because this is the current car and the challenge, the poor boys challenge, and the thrust motor, it just sent the car all over the place. It was crashing, spinning, I mean, it caused a little bit of damage. We lost a dog bone part that a couple of hours later, once we realized we'd lost the drive shaft, to one of the wheels we went back and luckily we found it we've lost body pins for it which amazingly today about two weeks later i actually found the body pin i was using there i said found it sat on the curb anyway we've transferred the thrust motor into this because i believe this car would be able to handle it a bit better and uh, like i said the seafront was a bit busier to use where the nice wide open space and we went down to uh, the university car park unfortunately though doing that run we have hit the curb as we're just warming up the tires, uh, waiting for some signal on the GPS. We hit a curb, the car went flying. You might see in the video, the um, GPS unit flew out of it as well. And what that has done, if we turn the car underneath, is create some damage down here. So yet to sort of see the full extent, whether this lower arm has snapped in any way. But the ball suspension joint has come out. Uh, the dog bone drive shaft has come out. You can see the steering rods come off as well. So yeah, it was a full on crash into the front. So I'm gonna have to take all this off, do some examining to see what the state of the car is. So the good news is it looks like we haven't snapped any of the plastic parts so we can reuse this stuff. But I'm just noticing how close that lower arm is to the actual wheel, really, really close there. Not much room at all. It's like that on the other side as well. Literally. No room. All the things I need to consider is this battery. When we're going at speed, there's too much room here for this to move around and stuff. So I might have to find some stuff in the kit bag, some foams and stuff to just slot in there to stop this wobbling out because it was coming out of the holster like that. Maybe something underneath here as well to compress it in a bit. But this is the thing about speed runs, you know, it's kind of like a bit of experimenting and learning as you go. Unfortunately, 
it can be a little bit costly when things go wrong. Anyway, um, let's see what we can do. We might be able to get it out for another run today, but I think I might need to sort of put my attention back on this because the speedrun competition uh, for this car with Poor Boys RC, you know, time is running out with that for me. And I've got to get a couple of more runs done. I've got a couple of more things I want to do with it to gain speed. But this is the TTO2 at the moment. Still not really had its full test run with uh, this setup. But yeah, sorry, this video is just a bit, a little bit of me frustrating and just giving you an update of where we're at with this. Because I know some of you are quite interested in how this project was going. And you probably haven't seen a video for a while. But yeah, this is where I'm at. The first run of its new setup and smash. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.